Howdy y'all, Fast Force 29. Welcome back. In this video, you might be noticing that we're in kind of a different setting than our usual uh, atmosphere. So I uh, got this new stove from my mom, or rather she picked it up and I'm, I put it in for her. And these new stoves don't come with trim pieces to go around the border, these stove tops, you know. So, and the ones they sell in the store aren't long enough for a deeper stove. So what do you do in that situation? Well, let's take a look at it and see what we got. Okay, so you look at this, this is the new stove here. And when you install it, you see you have this gap here, which there ain't a real big gap on this side, it was worse on the other side, but you can still see how it's an unfinished edge and it's a gap, right? Now, yes, this side is actually close enough, technically you could caulk it and it would be fine. However, the other side, it had a bigger gap in it and some of the countertop pieces were chipped out on it. So what do you do in this situation? Well, we're gonna go from this right here and go to this here. So what I ended up doing is, and this side's still drying, obviously, because I still got to do the other side, but I got a piece that goes around the back, and goes up the sides here, and all this is is just a piece of trim PVC that I picked up from Lowe's, and I just sanded it down, painted it black. I cut some 45s on it to make a joint back here at the back, like so, and you can caulk that gap right there if I wanted to, but I might not even worry about it because you don't really notice it, but I might if it, if I need to later, I'll do it after everything settles and dries. But anyway, then up here, I just kind of sanded it and rounded it off. I should have put a little bit more paint on there, but it's fine. Now you still got a gap here. I could come in here. I could have come in here and cut a 45 on this and kind of like connected it. I thought about doing that, but this right here, you know, unless you're up close, you don't really notice it. And it looks fine. It's got a nice border to it now. There's no gap. You don't see no chips at the countertop missing. And that's all it is. And for as far as how I mount it, I didn't want to staple it or nail it or nothing. So I just got some of this. This Loctite Power Grab Heavy Duty Interior and Exterior Glue. Just goes into a caulk. Just goes into a caulk gun. And it put me a nice small thin bead right down the center here. You see it's white here. I just put it right down the center, a nice thin bead, maybe eh, I don't know, a sixteenth and eighth inch wide bead. You know, nothing crazy and do that right down the middle and then just stick it down to the countertop make sure your 45s are tight and it's all about test fitting but and uh but yeah i'm gonna get this put in then it'll be a done deal yeah i just put a bead on this you see it ain't gotta be perfectly straight or nothing but it's right down the center and like i said about a 16th eighth inch bead something like that and that's all you need for that and now we are done got to trim pieces on both sides now all the way around And with this glue, you just want to make sure you just push it down firm. And you want to let it sit. I guess I already stuck. I mean, you can pull it up, obviously, but it's stuck. And so it's not going to really move. But you want to let it sit about 24 hours. And then uh, it'll be stuck good to go. Make sure you clean your surfaces good. But I just want to share that with you on. Show you that. Anyway, guys, but that's it. I just want to share that with you. Something different, you know. But if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me in the drop box down below and I'll get back to you. And that's all there is for this one. So until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.